kids loose. Here we are, part one of 30, as promised. So, where to start? I mean, why even work for yourself? I'm not sitting here saying that everyone should, merely that it's an option and one that I'd not ever thought about. So, let's set the scene. What do you want to be when you grow up? I think back to when I was at school and I had friends that were very clear. They, One friend wanted to work with children, I think one wanted to be a model. One of my friends now recalls he wanted to be a prince when he grew up. I didn't know, I had no clue. Um, I was arty and creative, but the sort of party line when I was at school and through careers was, you're never make a living as an artist, you should get a proper job. Um, and so <laughs> I did, well, I did a proper job. I've made notes because I can't remember all of this in order. I trained as a treasury dealer. I worked in fund um, and I'm not very good with the numbers. I mean, it paid well, um, but that was never going to be a good fit <laughs> working for working in finance. So. I think about 20 years ago, I took a step change, went back to the beginning um, to pursue something a bit more creative and decided that a career in marketing, um, why not? Well, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Let's try that. Um, I worked for an agency and then within a couple of years moved to a massive retailer. Um, I started studying again. I made amazing friends. I worked on some incredible campaigns. It was a fabulous job. Um, crazy experiences at this place. I mean, really fab. But it got to a point where the question I asked myself was, can you see yourself doing this for the next 20 years? And so I was in my 40s, okay? If you're at school, you've got way longer than 40 years, uh, than 20 years to think about what you want to do with that time. So that, I'm not that ambitious. I didn't want to be, you know, director or CEO or anything like that. So I was like, well, I know that I don't want to do this forever. And so, the jobs that I'd had thus far, you know, I reflect on them as a process of elimination, let's say. Um, I learned a lot. And in fact, the career in marketing and the things that I'd learned there actually stood me in really great stead for what it is I do now. Um, so, what I concluded was that what I wanted was an inspiring, fulfilling and joyful life. It wasn't linked to a particular job, but you know, what does that look like? Um, so I'm reading a lot, I'm listening to a lot of podcasts um, and I came across one chap, in fact, I heard this on a podcast the other day, I think it's Stephen Bartlett, um, Diary of a CEO. You know, what would you do for free? What was the thing when you were young that you just loved before you had responsibilities and mortgages and what was the thing that would give you that feeling like Christmas morning you wake up and go ah that excitement and I was like hmm I actually couldn't think of anything um I called up my mum and I was like what did I love when I was young I mean I played the flute I was I that was okay I was not very good gymnast I could, she was like, oh, Lucy used to make cakes, don't you remember? <laughs> I was like, oh, I did. And I loved that. And that, weirdly enough, there were lots of little threads happening at this moment. I was actually making cakes for friends and family. In fact, people had said to me, Lucy, you should do this as a living. It had just not occurred to me. Anyway, this, you know, these, th these thoughts are going, I was like, I love making cakes. I'm doing this now. I was reading a book called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. I'd been following him on Instagram. I've been listening to a lot of his um, videos. 
um, and I was reading this book, it all was around purpose and why, why people do the things they do. Um, and I'm sat on a flight from Ireland. I've been away for work. It was not, <laughs> it was not great me. And I'm halfway through this book and I'm like, I love making cakes. Why do I, because this, I mean, I, I was okay at it. I had a talent for it. But I, was like, I loved the feeling of being able to do something for someone else that not everyone could do. It was just, that was the why. That, I, that was the idea. There was something there. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. Was it gonna be a viable business? I had no clue. But that was the thing. That was the place to start. I love doing this. I've got a talent for it. Let's explore. And honestly, that's, I mean, when I say honestly, like it just happened. It was, a. this was years in the making, if you like, up until this point, you know, the jobs that I had, the things that I did, the lessons that I learned, the thoughts that I'd had, it was all moving towards something different, th this. Um, and so, yeah, that was, that was the idea. So if you're thinking of doing something, I mean, look, anyone can get a job, but it was the, what do you want to be when you grow up? Inspired, fulfilled, joyful. And as part of that, it's for me, was doing something that I loved. Come back for part two tomorrow and we'll explore some more of this, but that sort of sets the scene. This is loose in a nutshell, past 40 years <laughs> to this point. Maybe that's, you know, set some thoughts going for you. I don't know, but this is the process. It's day one. I'll see you all tomorrow for part two. Much love. Mwah.